Welcome back to the Cincinnati number two tool and counter grinder. This one is about 1942 vintage, so it's going to be 80 years old in a couple of weeks or so. Isn't that exciting? I think that's pretty amazing. Well, I'm going to try to cover a lot of ground here, and what I'm trying to do is just show you what I do with the machine and you know you can get bits and pieces out of it and and tailor it to what you do you know I, I know a guy's got a plastic mold shop and he does a lot of different things and I know another guy that uh, was uh, building some kind of food processing machine and he did other things but uh, <laughs> one of the neat things is uh, I know uh, I know a, um, a really old, uh, well, actually two or, or maybe three old Navy machinists. And uh, one of them uh, uh, made a startling uh, statement, and that is you can use your tool post grinder off your lathe on these old Cincinnati tools. Uh, tool and cutter grinders, and we'll talk about that a little bit. But I want to show you something, and let's see if I can get the camera up here. Okay. Oh, we move so slow. Okay. Now I got a dial indicator here. Let's see if I can get that a little bit closer. You know, I don't want it to go out of focus. Now, let's see, here we go. Now, what that dial indicator is on is this is the work head and this is the 5C call it um, adapter that I put into the old, it might be a 13 brown and sharp, but I can't remember. But anyway, when I put this in Royal, who's a call it uh, closer hand wheel outfit, did not have um, <clears throat> a sleeve or anything to put in this. They said it's too thin. So I modified an old beat up one out of a lathe uh, that I pulled out of some junk. And I ground the OD, pushed it in here, and uh, <clears throat> then uh, ground uh, the seat you know, the, the front part where this call it closes. Now let's have a look at how that thing runs out. Oh. Now each little mark's a half thousandths on that. And I'm not fooling. See? Look at that. Now that's pretty neat. That's four inches out. I get that out of the way. Now, what I have in that 5C collet is an Ericsson extension, a uh, collet chuck extension. I forget the number. It might be 200. Um, it's got a 3 8 uh, shank, uh, quarter-inch ball end mill in there. But uh, anyway, I wanted, to, I wanted to show that, that, you know, uh, that a 5C collet can... Uh, run a tool, you know, about four inches out, that true, okay? Okay, now how I did that was I rigged up the uh, machine for uh, internal grinding. And <laughs> like I <laughs> said before, uh, you know, you can put your lathe tool post grinder uh, uh, on here. What is it, like a FEMAC or a... Or a do more? I can't remember anymore. But they have internal spindles, and that's how I ground this, see? I, you know, had the head down and turned at the angle to grind, regrind that seat. And you can see how good that runs. Okay. Now here's the Blockbuster. You're going to like this. And I've done it. Now, you can, this is uh, my internal spindle here, 
but you can lay your bridge port spindle on this table. You build a cradle, put it in there, and you can regrind that R8 to, uh, taper just as good as this in its own bearings, right? You'd lay the whole quilt like this is, right? You got the spindle and the quill. I'm losing my voice, hold on. Okay, so you can uh, take your beat up old bridge port and you can renew the spindle taper on this machine, just like I did here with this 5C collet. And, and it's similar to an R8, it's just got that short uh, seating taper. As a matter of fact, I ground uh, the 40 taper on my uh, um, a brown and sharp over here on here on here because during the war time they didn't grind it they just uh, it was just turned and it had about a thou and a half run out so uh, I reground it okay okay now now <laughs> back to the tool post grinder now <clears throat> Here, you, I think you might have, uh, if you looked at my Axelson lathe deal, I briefly uh, had this on one of those driveway videos. But uh, here, this is my tool post grinder here. And I'm going to slide this out of the way. Get that out of the way. Go on, go on, go on, go on. You know, I'm going to turn it on and show it off, okay? I'll show you how cool it is. Let's see. Let's, let's get the... Uh, Let's get up here close. Very yeah, close. Pretty cool, huh? I'll turn on this light here. Might help. There we go. Okay. Fire right in the hall. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to rotate it around so you can see what it'll do. Okay, it acts as a tilt head, and uh, for internal grinding, you'd like turn it like this. You know what that many seagulls pulley? And that's like that's nice. I made that. I like it. Okay. Get it back around here. Okay, I'm gonna straighten it up a little bit too. Okay, that's about straight. Somewhere in there. Okay. Now to do internal grinding, I'll put this spindle in here, okay? And I can actually drive it at the front like an old redhead internal spindle on old time uh, cylindrical grinders. And it works really quite well. It, well, I, can, I showed you there how well it does work. Now, if you have a tilt head grinder, you, you only have to build this part. Let me rotate this around. Now, I, I made a really heavy L bracket here. You see, I keyed it and bolted it together. Um, and, and it's clamped down on the slots on the top. Okay, this is two inch thick plate. This whole thing's made out of two inch thick plate. Okay. So you can, you don't have to have this part. Um, or have it tilt, really, uh, because your head tilts. And you can run an arbor with a pulley off your, uh, off your head. See? Now, the factory ones were like that, but try to find one. More coffee. I hope I'm not getting a cold. Okay, you kind of get an idea what I'm talking about? I, I think you do. You can, uh, you can tell me if you don't. Okay. <clears throat> 
so that's one of the things you can do. You can uh, you can fix your uh, machines with this machine. Amazing, totally amazing to me what these things can do. Yeah, an old Navy guy just sticks the uh, old Doomor on there, but he has to move the uh, workhead and everything over to the right side of the table. And uh, I built my tool uh, post grinder to do all kinds of things. So it's modular, like the motor jumps off, I can flip it around, flip the spindles around, and just do all kinds of things with this thing. Let's stand back and look at it. See how it's attached? Okay. Now I've seen a lot of these grinders permanently uh, altered to do different things too. So you, you can do what you want with the machine. Okay. Let me... I'm going to take this off the tripod and do a little bit of a walk around. I can't go uh, over 15 minutes, I think. And appear, apparently this is uh, recording quite well. Okay, now you may have run into this problem, and this is a, this is an old secret, and I shouldn't tell you, but I'm going to do it. You run into ball bearing units like this, and it have uh, snap ring grooves, and you might not be able to find them, you know, or you're going to have to pay a hundred bucks more. Well, you can uh, 